The resolution is not adopted. Republicans failed to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas Tuesday night in a 214 to 216 vote. Three Republicans joined every Democrat to kill the impeachment resolution. Technically, if you look at the scoreboard, four Republicans opposed the measure. But one member of GOP leadership, Congressman Blake Moore, changed his vote to no at the very end, which will allow them to bring it back up for a second vote at a later date. That's exactly what they plan to do as soon as next week. There hasn't been a failure yet. We're going to bring it back. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise missed the vote because he's receiving cancer treatment. If everyone votes the same way when he returns, the resolution should be approved 216 to 215. Tuesday night's failure went beyond Scalise's absence. During a vote on another bill just minutes before, Democratic Congressman Al Green was absent. Everyone thought he was in the hospital. So when Republican leadership counted who was there, they determined the impeachment resolution would pass based on attendance. Little did they know that Congressman Green checked himself out of the hospital and rolled into the Capitol on a wheelchair to cast his no vote, making it a tie. A tie fails. The Republicans who voted against impeachment are Representatives Tom McClintock, Ken Buck, and Mike Gallagher. McClintock released a 10-page letter explaining his opposition beforehand. Buck also announced he'd vote no ahead of time. Gallagher was a surprise. He said in a statement, Secretary Mayorkas has faithfully implemented President Biden's open border policies and helped create the dangerous crisis at the southern border. But the proponents of impeachment failed to make the argument as to how this stunning incompetence meets the impeachment threshold Republicans outlined while defending former President Trump. There was mixed reaction from Republicans about their colleagues who voted no. They think it's uh, const on constitutional grounds. They, they certainly don't believe that he's done a good job. But no, I, uh, I have no problem with them, and no, it doesn't concern me at all. I would really love to see them go home and talk to their voters, the people that hired them to come here. Um, I know that several of them have very strong Republican districts. Some Republicans appear to be holding out hope that at least one of them will change their mind and vote to impeach. Congresswoman Green said they need to think about it over the weekend. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.